Greetings punks, goths, metalheads and herberts. My name's John and this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well today I've just had to chance it out in between rainstorms um, because we've got over a week of rain forecast and there's only a few windows when it looks like I might be able to get out for a bit so I've chanced it today and luckily it's just stopped raining as I've got here so I uh, should be able to get a bit of video in in. Today I'm at a place called Tint's Whistle, it's a few miles from where I live and uh, I'm just near the Arnfield Reservoir which you might be able to see in the background. Um, I've come here not to visit the reservoir but nearby there's a place called Swallows Wood and it's like a local nature reserve so I've come here for a walk, it's supposed to be a nice quiet place to chill out and also there's a place called Devil's Bridge nearby so I'm going to try and find that as well. So how are you all doing anyway? Uh, well, I hope. Well, this Sunday I've got my second COVID-19 jab, so I'll probably be as immunised as I can get. So, uh, glad I'm getting that out of the way though. So, I'm just coming into Swallows Wood now. Let's go and have a look. Well, where we're going today, with it being near a reservoir, there's going to be a lot of water features in this wood, all to do with the reservoir, old uh, water engineering works as such. And uh, I reckon a lot of bridges too, so it's going to be a walk of woods, nature and bridges and water. Hopefully no water coming from the sky, hopefully it's stopped raining now. But I've come here partly because if it does start pouring down, at least I'm, uh, I've got a bit of shelter in the woods. So we've got the first one of many water features here. Kind of a ford over the path. Let's have a look. Let's cross over this. Pretty shallow. I've got no idea at all which way to go today. Uh, just a mad wander around really. Uh, bit of a psychogeographic walk. I must point out that I have been here once before but not to this part. I'm uh, quite lost at the moment, I've been here about 15 minutes, uh, but it's pleasantly lost. Uh, I kind of did aim to just wander around uh, to parts I'd not been, but yeah, it's a pretty cool place, but I am a bit lost. <laughs> so I do seem to be on some kind of a minor track. I've seen a few footprints, so I don't think I'm that lost really, it's uh, quite fun. Uh, wandering around to be honest with you. So we've got more signs of civilization ahead. Uh, I think I'll follow this track. It goes into a nice bluebell bit of the woods. That's quite beautiful with the bluebells. So surprise, surprise, here's a bridge. It's like the old uh, troll bridges from Billy Goat's Gruff. That big old jeez. Right folks, I think I'm back on the right track. I think basically I made a massive wrong turn and I went in a sort of crazy loop getting lost. Uh, but I think I know where I am now. Um, I think I've been to this part before. So it doesn't matter about going the wrong way. And was it really the wrong way? It was a place I'd never been before. Had a bit of a wander around, so it's all good, isn't it? Now that's pretty. I don't often see waterfalls in the woods. Just a little one, but it's really nice. Cool. So we've got this really cool dam-like structure down here now we're coming up to. Wow, that's really cool. So on this side we've got some sort of system where it looks like they've got gates that can be opened and closed to let different amounts of water in and out, I guess. And you've guessed it, we've got another bridge down there. And uh, there's that sort of dam type system with some sort of ratchet on that side. There's probably a gate in the middle of those steps. And a uh, nice little bridge going over. A bit more sturdy this bridge. I 
It's actually uh, hailstones now, believe it or not. Crazy weather. The weather forecasts seem almost useless this year. So it says forecast because, you know, you need to know beforehand what the weather's going to be like. And this year it's just been mad. It's like you don't know until it's already raining and they say it's going to rain. So I've found somewhere I've been wanting to find for a while. Now this is known as Devil's Bridge. So let's have a closer look. So here we have it, Devil's Bridge. I've just been told it's the area more than this actual bridge is known as Devil's Bridge. So that's interesting to know because it is a fairly modern bridge this. Now this could actually be why it's called Devil's Bridge. We've got like a rock uh, waterfall area, which is like a natural area. So you could cross the river here or stream. So maybe that was where the devil crossed. So I must apologise at this point. In an earlier video, I thought I'd found Devil's Bridge and it actually wasn't. It was far further upstream. Uh, but it's quite confusing, there's so many bridges in this area. But I asked a local person just now and this is the Devil's Bridge area. So basically if I went across the bridge, I could get up onto the moors and uh, walk to where I live in about four miles, which is Staley Bridge. But with the weather being a bit iffy today and rainy, I'm not going to risk going over the open moors because it can be pretty treacherous in these conditions. So. Um, with things called devils, like round here there's a lot of devils areas, there's like Devil's Elbow, there's a place called uh, Doctor's Gate where the devil was supposed to have chased somebody in the past. And when everything is called devil, like, like a stone circle, an ancient stone circle, and it's called the Devil's Circle, or the Merry Maidens, it were turned into stone by the devil, it's usually a Christianization of an older pagan thing. So if there's a strong link to paganism in older ways, uh, the Christians come along and they called it devils this and devils that. And uh, Devil's Bridge may have had a, an older significant pagan meaning. Uh, I'd like to think so, it'd be nice. So I'm just gonna head off back now through a swallow's wood and uh, I'm gonna go away that I didn't go on the way here, so I can show you some other features. Always like these little things. Now this is what you call a cool bridge. Uh, I like this one. Yeah. This is my favourite bridge so far of the walk. But yeah, really nice view down to that bridge too. I like that one. So we've got some old building coming up which is probably to do with the reservoir and uh, yet another bridge, only a little stone one this time. It's just starting to open up raining again. Nice little wetland pond area here. So it's been a really chilled out, easy walk today. Tint Whistle is just near Glossop. Now Glossop's more well known for walks, uh, but the walks are more uh, difficult at Glossop in general. Uh, they're quite uh, advanced hill walks over the moors and such. Uh, this one at Tint Whistle, it's a lot milder and uh, I guess it's a good one to come out if you've not got that much walking experience. And you can still get out and get a really decent walk. So the aim with these videos is hopefully to inspire other people to get outdoors, get healthy um, for the body and for the mind and maybe go the cells on health walks or maybe get a few mates together and go on health walks and kind of that's the idea it's just to inspire people uh, to get out more so I'm just getting to the point where I started off through Swallows Wood so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for today if you enjoyed today's video please give us a subscribe and keep yourselves very safe and I'll catch you on the next video bye